Hey guys, welcome to the solution video. And if you remember in my previous video, I've asked you to create the linear regression model between the price and crime rate. So let's go ahead and first of all, put the price over here and crime rate here on the column. And in the analysis, say, don't aggregate the measure. And as you can see, the price is decreasing when the crime rate is higher. So what we need to do is to create linear regression is go into analytics tab and find this trend line and say linear. And as you can see, we have the linear, uh, negative linear regression where it is saying that in thousand price is uh, go declining by 0.412 or 0.413 in round figure uh, when you multiply it with the crime rate plus 24.0162. So using this equation, you can place the value of CRIM, which is crime rate, and predict uh, when the crime rate is going up or down, what should be the expected value of the uh, house. So that's quickly how you can create it. Also, if I right click and go into the edit trend line and uh, show the confidence band, I will see that confidence band is pretty higher uh, in case of a crime rate when we compare it with the uh, number of average number of rooms per dwelling so that's how you can very easily create uh, linear regression and uh, hope you found the solution useful and uh, i would like i mentioned in the previous video i really encourage you to now look at other variables create different sheets give a proper name to the sheet like uh, crime versus price like this so CRIME crime versus price similarly create another one and look at DIS versus price and try to see when you are going here on this line you are getting three value price R squared and P value and try to document the value of R square and see where you are getting the highest R square once you get the highest R square that means that's the most useful variable so 0.14 we are getting over here and in case of average number of rooms, we are getting 0.48. So 0.48 is definitely better. So that's a better variable than the crime to predict the house prices. So I would really like you experiment with the other uh, variables against the price and find out what you observe. 